Hello, my dear students. How are you? I hope you all are well. I am also fine. Today, I have come before you with another online class, and this class is going to be on pre modifiers of different nouns. So, dear students, we are not uh, very much capable of taking classes formally in your institution. Uh, because the uh, situation is getting a uh, very bad day by day. That's why I have come uh, before you with a online class. So let's learn our topic, what I am going to teach you today. So dear students, uh, uh, look at uh, the whiteboard. I have mentioned the topic modifiers, especially uh, the pre-modifiers of nouns. Uh, before going to start my detailed class, I would like to uh, give you a view on modifiers. So, dear students, modifier means uh, that modifies something. We have two types of modifiers. Number one is pre-modifier and number two is post-modifier. Pre-modifier is a word which uh, precede the which precedes the head word, and the post-modifier is a word or a phrase that follows the head word. So, dear students, uh, I hope you have got a view on uh, modifiers actually. So, let's learn the pre-modifiers of different nouns. Uh, look at the whiteboard, dear students. I have mentioned pre-modifiers of nouns. We will actually know the pre-modifiers uh, step by step, how to use them in different sentences as well. So dear students, uh, look at the uh, whiteboard. I have used articles as the pre-modifiers of a noun. Look at the uh, articles here. We have three articles A and and D. We know that we can use A and N before a singular countable noun. Remember the thing we have we used the article before a singular countable noun. On the other hand, we use a definite article before any type of noun. Uh, let's follow the examples here. The first, the first sentence I have follow my examples here on the whiteboard. I have used a uh, before a singular countable noun. We can count shirts. We can count shirt. one shirt, two shirts in this way. So a has been used before a singular countable noun. So uh, there will be a question like this, use an article to pre-modify the noun. Then you the students have to understand whether the noun is singular or plural, countable or uncountable. If it is a singular countable noun, you can use a and on the other hand, there is another article that is called definite article and this article is used before any types of noun. It can be singular, it can be plural, it can be an uncountable noun, at the same time it can be a countable noun. So I hope you have understood uh, the uses of articles uh, in a short time that we can use articles before a noun, it depends on the nouns, which article you are going to use. So look at the uh, following example. Here they have visited Taj Mahal. So Taj Mahal is a proper noun and it is, uh, it is the only noun in the world. So that's why we have used the before Taj Mahal. I hope you have understood the point. Let's uh, learn another topic.
topic. Uh, this is possessive pronoun. We have uh, some possessive pronouns such as mine, uh, our, your, his, hers, its, and their. These are the possessive pronouns. We can use a possessive pronoun before a noun. Look at the example here. He is responsible for his deeds. So, deed is a noun and we have used a possessive pronoun before the noun. So, dear students, uh, you will have to uh, uh, follow one thing. When you are going to use a possessive pronoun, you should look for the subject only. According to the subject, you will use the possessive pronoun. So, I hope you have understood uh, the second one. So, possessive pronouns can be used before a noun as pre modifiers. The question will demand a possessive pronoun and you will have the question like this. Use a possessive pronoun to pre modify the noun. I hope you have understood my point. Then we have demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrate means uh, to show something. You are showing something to somebody. And these are the pronouns. This, that, these and those. There are four demonstrative pronouns. And uh, we have two pronouns that are singular. And we have two pronouns that are plural. So uh, singular demonstrative pronoun will precede singular noun and plural demonstrative pronoun will precede the plural noun. So here uh, have a look on the examples. This man, so man is a singular noun that's why I have used this. Similarly books is a plural noun and before the word I have used this. So uh, look at the examples once again. This is a head word and this is a pre modifier. So in this way you can use this and the that these and those. So I have under, I have I have been able to uh, make you understand the point. I think. So, uh, the number four, distributive pronoun. We have two distributive pronouns, each and every. Both each and every are used before a singular countable noun. Look at the example here. It's a head word and it is a singular noun. And before this singular noun, I have used every. So, every is a distributive pronoun. I hope you have understood my point. I will mention uh, some other things that precede a uh, noun. Let's have a look. We have pure acidity. Pure adjective. Pure adjective uh, means the adjective you know as an adjective. For example, she cooked a delicious, delicious food. The example here food is a head word and before this noun I have used an adjective so delicious is an adjective which modifies the noun in this way we can use pure we can use pure adjective as an example of a pre modifier let's have a look onto the another example Another uh, thing that is used as pre modifiers of a noun. For example, noun adjective. Noun 
noun adjective. So noun adjective means uh, we have two nouns together and the first one is regarded as an adjective. For example, he found a money book. Here money is a noun and bag is another noun. So we have two nouns together and the first one will be regarded as noun as a, as a noun adjective. So here this is an adjective. Number seven participle adjective. We know that we have two types of participle. One is present participle. Participle and another one is past participle. Present participle means I and G of the verb. And past participle, uh, I hope you know uh, it better. So let's have a uh, Two examples with the two types of participles. For example, he saw a running train. Here, train is an here a train is a noun, and we have a present participle of a verb before the noun, so it is an adjective and it is called a participle adjective. In this way, we can also use a past participle adjective like this. They, they bought a Broken building. Look at the example. Here, building is a noun, and we have used an adjective, and it is a part, past participle adjective. So, in this way, we can use participle adjectives before a noun, and these all are the pre modifiers of a noun. So dear students, I am going to uh, teach you another uh, very important pre-modifiers of nouns and these are called determiners or quantifiers. So we have some determiners or quantifiers. For example, sum several much many no all any both another other few a lot of a little little etc so uh, there are many uh, 
quantifiers or determiners here. The question will uh, demand a quantifier or a determiner. The question will be like this use a determiner before a noun. For example, there are many books on the table. Look at the example. Here is the noun phrase and it's a head word. And before the head word, I have used many. So many is a determiner. And we use a determiner before every uh, noun. So look at the uh, example here. Yeah, determiner is many, and it's a plural one, and it is used before a plural countable noun. So look at the noun here. Yeah, the noun is a plural countable noun. So in this way, you can use many. So all the determiners have some uses. You can use according to their uh, number and parcel of the now, in this way, you can uh, solve pre modifiers of uh, different uh, uh, nouns. At the same time, you will uh, have uh, some other things uh, gradually that uh, are very much close to modifiers. So, dear students, uh, I hope you have understood uh, the items on the topic uh, that I am um, I taught you today and uh, in this way I will be with you on online I hope you will be benefited from our classes especially uh, Fajr Ali Mullah degree college is um, very much alert uh, the, on online class and I hope you will be uh, you will be with us uh, until we are uh, formally involved in our classes. So dear students, uh, uh, keep uh, distance, wear mask so that we can uh, keep away COVID-19. So thank you very much for joining my class today. Thank you once again. Allah bless.